Steven, it's time to get up. I would like to lay around in bed. I don't like having the battles ever after because I stink. My first impression is to Stephen was, he was so nice, he was so gentle. He takes you as you are. For someone's so vulnerable, I mean, he lets you in straight away and just speaking to him, you know that he knows what he wants in life. <laughs> Three Gates is a lovely house out in the countryside. I mean, years ago, learning disability services were put out of sight. You can walk into Three Gates and you know that that's a person-centred unit. And what, what person-centred means is that everybody that lives there, like Stephen, they're at the centre of what goes on. I guess how much you've got left then to spend on yourself? One pound. Yeah. I'm really proud of what he's achieved. He's overcome a lot of behaviour problems and he now goes to college three days a week. He's, he's really kind. If you've been off sick, he'll, he'll come and ask how you are, how you're feeling. If you've had a bereavement, it upsets him as well. Is that a one pound coin or a two pound coin? Two pounds. Two, so you've got two there. What's that one? We call it functional analysis and that's really where we try to get to the bottom of why somebody's being aggressive, say, or physically or verbally. And once you can understand why somebody is aggressive, then you know how to manage it then and Annette's very good at that. It's definitely important for the guys to have a structure to their days and they have planners that set out what they're going to be doing for the day so they know in the morning who's on, what activities they're doing, who they're doing it with and it keeps everything sort of on a calmer level whereas if there was that sense of the unknown there'd be anxieties there. Stephen aims to eventually to live on his own so something like cooking it's having him be as independent as possible, so he's got that option to carry on and fulfil what he wants to do in life. I like to go and live in the Isle of Wight. We need to do a third of it, so that's enough. He's got an interview for a job next week. He's had a few different jobs, none of them have worked, but we don't give up, because there will be a job out there for him somewhere, we've just got to find him. <laughs> right, what are we having? Yeah, a chocolate. A hot chocolate? Yeah. Well, I don't see why not. Uh -huh. When somebody like Steve and a lot of people with learned disabilities are impoverished in terms of friendships. And they rely on staff a lot of the time, paid staff, to actually go out and have these one-to-one -one days. If he was to be on his own, somebody like Steve and in the past people have been abused and actually befriended and then um, sort of hoodwinked into giving their money away. It's really sad when you have to leave and say bye and you know that you're probably never going to see them again. And I remember Steve sitting on the sofa next to me and going, will I see you at uni? And I was like, I don't know, Steve. I was like, I'm not going to promise you that I'll see you. But, he's, yeah, he's a good person. So what do you wear? Swimming. Trunks. Swimming. Do you wear use goggles? Do you use them? Oh. I think without Annette and without the support he gets at Three Gates, he could still be in a really bad place. He might still be quite, not aggressive, but you know, distressed and upset and become challenging then because people don't understand him. If he didn't have that support system around him, I'd worry about how he would be. He wouldn't be as happy as, happy as he is now. <laughs>